Hi there, and welcome to ChatGPT4. Today we're going to look at the plugins that are available. Going to go to the top here, open that up, and then notice these are the ones that I've added. And you can only add three to appear, but you can add or install a lot more. And so let's take a look at the plugin store. Notice these are the ones that are available. You can search for them. You can also see the ones that you've installed. And these are the ones that I've installed so far. Uh, let's look at some of the new ones. Uh, you get a chance to see what's coming up. And there are new ones coming up all the time. Notice how many. 86. So if we go to the last one, okay, nothing after that. There are a lot of them. So I think you would spend a lot of time looking at these. Let's take a look at all because they're in alphabetical order. And some of them are absolutely amazing. So if you go into next, you get a chance to see. Notice there's a PDF um, and explanations. You could also install Notice Google Sheets and get information for that. Ask your Google Sheets questions and chat with Excel. Enter Google Drive link to start. So uh, let's take a look at this one and see what we can do with it. So there I've installed it. I've also connected with Google Drive, so that's in the system already, but otherwise you'll be prompted to do that. Uh, let's take a look at some other ones. Some are for business, some are for education. It's not all for education, and that's my interest, by the way. There's also Aero, Dext. So some of these you may find useful, others you may not. Notice um, AI Quest, an interactive text adventure. Your choices shape the AI crafted narrative. Uh, there's also, this is one that I have here, AI Drive Chat with your PDF files and more. Keep everything organized in your personal AI Drive. AI PDF that you can install. There are so many of them, it would take me hours just to go through them. But I highly recommend that you do, as I said, you can also uh, search for plugins and see if they're there. These are some of the popular ones. Chat with PDF that I just got. Uh, you chat with everything from the entire PDF books to Google Drive document, just providing a link. And that's absolutely amazing. Of course, there's the coder pad where you can run code in more than 30 different programming languages and let us worry about the rest. So let's take a look at this one. There's also the GitHub repository URL and ask about any aspect of the code, which is useful since I'm using Moodle. That would be nice for me as well. Here there's one browser op. I browse dozens of web pages and one query fetch information about uh, informa more information about them. So let's take a look at this one and again notice how easy it is. You can also go to about plugins. Notice uh, there's information here. And notice the chat GPT automatically chooses when to use plugins during a conversation depending on the plugins you've enabled. So it's a good idea to enable as many as you can. Right, so let's go back. Let's uh, turn this off and go back to our chat GPT. And um, notice uh, the ones that I have now, but I can get rid of some of these and add another one. So this one I really like, access link. Access any links on the web and get the information you need about a website. There's the access Google sheet that I got. And there's also one to summarize here. Uh, notice uh, this one is not available anymore. Some of them may disappear. There's also a diary, diary journey. Keeping a diary is designed to be effortless and beneficial. 
a puzzle constructor, a tool for creating crosswords. You can create crosswords from words and hints. That's uh, useful. As I said, you can only have three at the top and the ones I've chosen is uh, Scholar AI, Unleash Scientific Research. Uh, with 40 million plus peer-reviewed papers, explore PDFs and save um, to reference managers. Uh, this is really, really amazing. So if you want research, let's go back here and I'm going to ask for research. And the research that I'm going to ask for is the following. All right, so here goes. Find peer-reviewed current articles on sudden double vision and screen abuse. Let's click on that and see what ChatGPT comes up with. Notice it's using, it went into the Scholar AI automatically because it realized that that's what was required. So you don't really have to tell it to do anything. It'll go where it needs to go. And notice there are no um, peer-reviewed articles. So we might want to ask uh, for non-peer-reviewed articles. So here we're asking for non-peer-reviewed articles and see what we get from that. Uh, generally, recent articles aren't necessarily peer-reviewed because it takes a while for articles to be reviewed and it could take a couple of years. So it wouldn't really be current, but here we're getting um, prompts, help with a prompts, a sudden double vision screen. So we may want to use different keywords as is suggested here. So let's try that. So let's be more uh, general with double vision and screens. So it doesn't necessarily have to go into screen abuse or the word sudden. So here we go. We're looking for articles, scholarly articles. And here we go. Um, and these are some articles. Um, I don't see, okay, publication 2023. That sounds promising. And notice it wasn't cited by anyone. PDF link. Notice what we're getting here, another one. And a third one, they're all 2023. So the current state. And I notice here we're also getting some uh, articles that are not really related um, using a double vision approach. That is not what the double vision uh, means here. And then there's an article from 2022, the venom of, um, okay, which can lead to symptoms, including, hmm, that's interesting, double vision caused by a spider. <laughs> that's something that I hadn't thought of. All right, we're, I was referring to screen um, and then, okay, so we've got this one, discusses the case of double vision, which is also called, that's true, diplopia that occurred five weeks post um, Botox. Okay, injection for crow's feet. All right, this is uh, also uh, venom. Uh, that is very strange. And... Um, and that's it. So we could be more specific, which is really important in getting information. So let's try to be a little more uh, specific. Now notice here I've asked a question. Let's see what we get for that. Is double vision related to screen abuse? Now in this case, uh, since we're on the same prompt, we're just uh, adding a few changes. Um, we may be getting hallucinations um, since we're not getting uh, articles here, or at least the information is not based on articles. Uh, it's just, it's there's another term here, digital eye strain. So we might wanna use that. So articles on, and that may help us. 
So getting information and learning about the prompts and how they work and what we're getting from ChatGPT there. Now, as soon as we've added the words articles and digital eye strain, we may get more peer reviewed and other articles. Notice the current's still here. And notice this is during COVID, which is interesting uh, because there were a lot of students, well, mostly uh, students of all ages were learning virtually. University students in a district in India. Okay, so there are a few uh, unforeseen digital strain for children. That's of interest as well. These are all current. And I think that's important for this type of question and in Saudi Arabia as well. Now here it asks me, would you like to know more details about any of these articles or save them to your reference and um, save them? I would ask, save the articles. Okay, so I think uh, that's something that I would like to do to save the articles and it tells me where I can save them so tarot and then you can go into um, among the undergraduates in Saudi Arabia notice uh, there's nothing in the United States uh, these are all India Saudi Arabia and there's one here uh, from the names I'm not sure where that is uh, we might want to look into that and uh, we may just add something else um, to articles with studies in the in North America in North America and Europe let's see what we get with that so again, notice what we're doing here. We're learning, aren't we? So here we're looking for articles with studies in North America. Based, they are primarily from Asia. Now notice this is true. With these articles, uh, please proceed. Nothing in the United States, that's in, or in Europe, notice. Um, okay, and here we're getting the same ones over again. Okay, so let's go into this uh, PDF and the results, conclusion. Virtual learning has become an integral part of education and uh, there's digital eye strain computer vision syndrome and this is all due to virtual learning right and that's it um, I think this has been very very helpful and it's great that uh, we now have plugins and notice um, they're quite extensive if you're interested in this and other areas of chat GPT and uh, learning, which is uh, my area of expertise, please uh, feel free to add questions in the comments box below. I'd love to learn about your studies and the work that you're doing and how I can help you perhaps, or at least uh, lead you in the right direction when it comes to ChatGPT. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.